Hello, and welcome to IS's News. My name is Marco. And my name is Samir. First up, we have an interview on the ES Sports Day. Hello, my name is Evangelina, and I am from ISS News Crew. And I am reporting live from Clemente Stadium on, I, on ISS Olympic Sports Day. Here I have the house captain of Somerset. Hello. So, what is your name? My name is Samir. What are the challenges that you have found being house captain? Um, we never had exactly a challenge yet because we only had one meeting so far. And all we had to do then was to organize the fun run. What are the activities that are coming planned? Or that are planned? Well, we actually haven't started, but in future time we can get more and more house um, activities. And this one is sports day that we plan. How do you feel about your team? I feel really confident because I think that we can win again because last year we won the whole year and then I think this year we can do the same. What are the activities for sports day? So actually it rained so we can't we were supposed to do long jump but we couldn't so it's short put the running 50 80 meters and 200 meters and then we have the javelin and how about the k1 and k2's activities i'm not so sure about that because i never because they never told us about the k1 and 2's activities but i'm not so sure about that and i also forgot we're doing the relay thank you for using using your time with us uh, this is Sanjita, and today I'm going to interview Mr. Nathan about Sports Day. Hi Sanjita, how are you? Good. Um, so, what were the events planned for Sports Day? So, we had some track events and some field events, so lots of running, jumping and throwing. We had some shot put, we had um, long jump and javelin, as well as some races. And then for the kindergartens and grade ones, we had a lot of different uh, rotation activities, like running, jumping and throwing. How do you think Sports Day went? I think it went really well. We were a little bit worried about the rain um, because it was raining in the morning and it looked like maybe we would have to cancel. But uh, luckily it stopped raining and we were able to do it. But it did mean that we needed to make some changes to, to some of the events. What were those changes? So we weren't able to do long jump because uh, the long jump pit, the sand was, was full of water. So we weren't able to use that. And we also ran out of time for our relays. So we didn't get a chance to do the relays at the end either. And what was the venue of the sports day? So we did our sports day at Clemente Stadium, so everyone uh, came to school in the morning and then got on a bus and took the bus to Clemente. What do you think you could have improved in sports day? Yeah, I think it's a good question. Um, I think we were a little bit rushed for time, I think, because of the, the weather, so um, I think we did the best that we could with the weather. It would have been nice to have been able to do the long jump and the relay, but uh, we just made the best of the situation. Next, we have an interview of Mr. Taylor. Hello, and this is the ISS News Team, and let's get right into the news! Okay, so today I'm here with Mr. Taylor. Um, say hello. Greetings. And I'm going to ask you a few questions. So, how do you think the school is going so far? Oh, I think we're going along great guns. Um, we've had a great start to the year. Uh, the students have all settled in. We've got some fantastic new staff. Uh, the buildings are looking revamped, the classrooms are looking very educationally solid and, and uh, engaging. Um, it's been a good start. Okay. Um, and which trip are you going for a week without walls? Undecided as yet, thanks Marco. Um, given I kind of organise all of the, the trips and so I hope to get out to maybe, uh, if the local trip goes ahead, I hope to get out to a few of them, but I'll probably, I'll see all the trips off at the airport and the ferry terminals, and I'll be there for the return of all the trips. So unfortunately, this time around, I'm not gonna get to go on a trip overseas. Okay. And are you looking forward for the upcoming events such as Swim Gala and International Day? I love Swim Gala. I love Swim Gala and International Day. They're a couple of my favourite days of the year. Uh, International Day because I get to see everybody dressed in their, their national garb. And, and the best part about International Day, other than you know seeing everybody in their, their national outfits, is international food. And finally, what are you expecting for the students uh, for a week without walls? 
what am I expecting for the students? Um, my expectations generally for Week Without Walls is that I hope that the students become empathetic to the environments they're going into, that they look upon the people's way they live, their food, their their education, and start to recognise, A, how privileged we have it here in Singapore and in our school, and B, hopefully they start to think about, okay, so what could I, as an, international, as an ISS student, um, do to make their world a little bit better? How can I make their their learning, you know, their environment a better place? So that's, you know, it's pretty basic stuff. But on top of that, I'm, I'm just hoping everyone enjoys themselves. It's a great, it's a great week, a uh, week without walls. Okay. And this has been the ISIS News Team with Mr. Taylor. Thank you for your time. Peace out, boys. <laughs> Finally, we have an interview on life with, in middle school for the grade six. I am Eli from ISIS News School and I'm going to interview grade six students. How do you feel about middle school? Um, I'm excited and sort of scared at the same time. Um, I'm happy and stressed at the same time. Okay, that means both of you are a bit scared and also a bit happy. What is different from elementary school? Um, we have more homework and the schedule is very different. Yeah, instead of, um, if like we all stay in our homework class, we have to move to other classes. Thank you. What is one thing you're most excited about? I'm most excited about going to Tulunas. I'm also excited about going to Tulunas. Thank you. That's it for the ISS News Episode 1. See you next time.